Welcome to a new question of the day. In a previous video, we used crosstabs to describe the link between two qualitative variables, geographic origin and preferred brand. Today we ask how to easily describe the link between two quantitative variables. We'll talk about scatter plots. Here's some data relative to a sample of customers from an online shoe store. They are described by different variables, including several quantitative variables. We wish to see how invoice amount changes according to time spent on the website. We want to check if there is a link between these two variables. Scatter plots are commonly used to represent the relationship between two quantitative variables. It is simply an xy plot with one variable assigned to each axis. How do you create a scatter plot using Excel stat? Go to Visualizing Data and select Scatter Plot. In the X field, select Time Spent on Site. In the Y field, select Invoice Amount. Then click OK. Here we have our scatter plot. At first sight, Invoice amount seems to decrease when time spent on the site increases. In other words, the longer the customers navigate on the website, the less money they spend. It would be interesting to integrate the geographic origin information into the chart. To do that, go back to Visualizing Data and Scatter Plot. In the Groups field, select Geographic Origin and click OK. Origins are now represented by different colors and symbols. We see new interesting results. Plutonians tend to spend less time on the website and more money than the others. Customers from Earth and Mars, on the other hand, behave in a similar way. Long time spent on the website and low invoice amount. Did you notice that we just combined the information carried by three variables on the same chart, which include two quantitative variables, time spent and invoice amount, and one qualitative variable, geographic origin. We have described the link between two quantitative variables. In an upcoming question of the day, we will talk about a special tool allowing us to describe individuals according to three relative ratios or portions. We will talk about ternary diagrams. See you soon.